It would be cool if Mike were here, because he could put in, like, a turret on this site. Yes. As, like, a advanced defense post. You could go Elon Musk and call it the boring ship. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have currently called it the mole, which is not a tremendous. That is, a bit, that is game, more but... boring than the boring <laughs> ship. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's still visible, it's still visible. Still visible. It has now one square out of sight. Okay, well, let's just put another two squares further in just in case. At least, yes. This is pretty cool. Like digging an entire giant sized base out of the side of Olympus Mons. Mm hmm. Yeah, I thought so. That's why I thought we should do it. Oh, well, don't shit. make it feel self-conscious. Oh. Uh... oh, man. I think I need to, like, uh, get a large grid welder on this as well. Uh, for the extra welding range. Yeah, well, I mean, a good, a good thing, like, a good way to build a lot of the rest of this base would probably be with a car uh, static welding rigs. What? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Oh, you, you mean static ones on wheels? No, like, just with pistons would work fine. Oh. No, I think a static welding... I was thinking already of building one on a car. On wheels. Just for doing just... floors. Yeah. Because I mean, floors are, are like... Panda, for example. Floors... No. No, on a small grid one. Ha! Ah, back in the game. Just a small grid car with, like, two welders pointing downwards. Mm. Uh, oh, I found it was a bunch of scrap again. Uh, not very well, nice way to refer to Mr. Heaney's creations. <laughs> uh, but probably fair. What? Fair, fair, fair for the other Scargo, certainly. <laughs> yes. The others, however, are functional and have, and not only are functional, but have performed their function. And anatomically <laughs> correct. <laughs> Indeed. With multiple techniques. Okay. What is being ported? Uh, the the mole. Mole. Well, it's not a mole, though, is it? It's, it's the called the mole. The burrowing caterpillar. That's quite hot. Yeah. Coming in quite hot there. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Also, you, there's still smoke coming out of the Trinity Porter? Yeah, there's always smoke coming out of the Trinity Porter. <laughs> yeah, maybe there could be right. less smoke coming what out of the I Trinity Porter. Up? The mole! Well, I can't still. see it yet. I can't it's, see it. Oh, there. It's the it needs a better name. I mean, the mole. Who'd call it that? Uh, don't crash into the ceiling. So we just, am I just literally just picking it up? I don't understand what's uh, wrong yes, with it. Yes, it, it does not. It has run out of power. It oh, okay. Have any power in his batteries? It's so... And it, uh, you know, as a result of it losing power, uh, it does not have functioning thrusters. So though. Fine. This was quite careless of you. I think is what we want to say. Cool. Uh, if you could bring it back to the um, uh, its parking spot, that would be handy. Where is the oh, all the way to the parking spot? Yeah. Yeah, it's next to the drill sergeant. Quite dark, so I think you are quite close to the limit of what I can carry. Anyway, to return to our earlier topic. Uh. Uh. What was the other topic? I can't remember. Start. No, nope, I don't have enough backwards to us to uh, to drive that way around. Uh, uh, no. uh, I mean, RCX, you are going to need to add some power to your mole. Yes. Because, uh, yeah. Am I destroying much of it? No, but you're at a jaunty angle. You're at a jaunty angle. Your mum's at a jaunty angle. At least she was last night. Hey. Where is, is it that? Is this the parking space? Uh, yes, give me five seconds because I'm about to run out of power. Ah, oh, God. There's a theme with you, isn't there? Yes, perhaps. Well, you are only rescuing him because he ran out of power. That, that was, might be the theme. <laughs> the ship is quite a lot bigger than me, isn't it? Yes. Nope, nope. Missed it again either to lock, lock up and lock me on. One sec, give me one sec. You seem to be at the wrong end. Ow! Ow! What We're getting shot! Ship? There's two enemy ships above. Oh, I died, and there's a hole in All the right. floor. You can detach, thanks. 
Okay, thank Can we get you. some more uh, defenses at yeah. the entrance to our base, please? Yeah. There's still one enemy ship above us, but it isn't. That, I think that is the assert ship that sent the drones. Are we yeah, not it's having? Not any, are, we not have any, are we not going to have anything up the top here at all? I don't think so. I think where the projection is is probably going to be the end of the base. Okay, are you ready? Also, I would like the guns to be a bit further out from the entrance than that, so that they're not yeah. attracting. Oh, yes. Wow. But they also need. They also need. I have like, a good stopping distance now. It's it's also <laughs> handy to have the guns connected up to the system, so that. Yeah, but you could connect them up ammo. through the mountain and have them come up in other places. Uh, I could, but I can I do that now? I mean, we do. We need to get everything set up first before we do that. I stress that the current location of these cargo containers is temporary. Are they on the crash path to the uh, the, the, the base? Which cargo containers? The ones inside the base. Oh, shit. Yeah, because they can't live there. Yeah. I'm stuck on a Why? voxel. Oops. Well, you're now, you've lost some components there. I've lost an engine, I believe. Peter, Goodbye. you've lost the news. Why are you building large cargoes there? Because um, then when they become not temporary anymore, i.e. we destroy them, hmm. it's going to be hard to do that because they'll be quite full of stuff. Yes. Well, the point is that when we decide where we actually are going to put the uh, large cargoes... Um... I'm sure I must have dug more stuff out than dug by this point. Haha. <laughs> um... Have you seen the rate at which this thing is uh, shifting volume? Are you I mean, challenging I... Doug's position as most boring engineer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta admit that the bumblebee's performance was pretty impressive. Ah, so you were impressed by the flight of the bumblebee? I was, I was. I think he was uh, impressed by my shaft. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, well, as much the shafting he was talking about was the rimming ski Korsakov. We could have the basement actually here. So you don't want anything that's going to have any vulnerability to shooty shooty from outside, right? Yeah. So, like, if you or if you think of accidental us, crashes from people coming in the door. If you think well. of actually, if you look at the back of the drilling guide, oh no, hydrogen. Um, under there is very well protected. Oh, ow. This is going to hurt. Critical. Wee. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see your gun. That's nice. I like it. I like the way it sticks out. It's very uh, assertive. Yeah. <laughs> More assertive than the assertive installations, maybe. Which is what we want. We are trying to out-assert them. Yeah, I think my limiting factor is oh, I'm about to run out of oxygen, aren't I? Oh. Haven't you uh, got oxygen in your cockpit? Nope. Ah, um, lame. Uh, I'm only using a 100 ton 10 ship, so, uh, you know, it's basic only. 100 ton 10 ship. Mm hmm. Still about 2 million tons, which I think might work. Uh, are you using your talking to other people voice there? I, 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 I mean, I assume satanic chant was what was going on there. It was, uh. Oh, maybe he's yeah, trying to no, summon Clang. <laughs> 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 I would uh, prefer to not have client present. Are um, you building a rotor, RCX? Yeah. Uh, um, hmm. Hang on, you remember how the last time this went? Oh, shit. Oh, the uh, drilling grid seems to have broken. Ah, uh, stupid. Oh, what shit. What did you do? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that is unfortunate. On, on the other hand, this time we are aiming to create a large hole, so perhaps our <laughs> objective skills are. Uh, in I mean, demand. the goal before was a large hole, just one that didn't actually, like, you know, breach the surface. Well, same here. <laughs> Indeed. Has that conveyor underneath been welded up? Or... No, Not entirely. No, no, it hasn't. Okay, how, I'm working how on it. is it intended that you access it? Well, there's a cargo container at this end. Okay. That's the conveyor right. is purely to connect this cargo container to what will be the rest of the system. Right. Okay. There's some... Oh, no. What are you doing? 
Well, Anyone in here got oxygen spare? Uh, yeah, no. there's some in my cockpit. Hold on. Presently, I am considering the issue of getting all of the stuff over from the Duke oh, Duke into these large <laughs> cargo containers. Delicious. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I meant there's a bottle in the cockpit as well. Oh. No, I just wanted you to breathe in, I think, for a bit. <laughs> you wanted to breathe in my smelly cockpit that I've been sweating labour in all afternoon. Also, I think there might still be some drilling required at the front of our hole. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. Because I think this left-hand end of it has never quite extended the full width of the drilling guide. Just a guide. Yeah, but the guide gives us the width of the Zorro. Just a guide. I don't want it to get oh, wedged. A drilling requirement or, you know, a drilling... Drilling specification. Manual, yeah, and data. Um, right, what is going on here? Have I run out of interior plates again? Yes. So what are you saying? What is going on? Is my design not perfectly clear to behold? Uh, I mean, we are just digging like, a corridor at the moment, aren't we? But it's not. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly in the uh, hole I am at the moment. I'm also worried. What is Mike up to? <laughs> he's, he's still building these defense stations. Yeah. I can see him. Okay. Do you want a hand welding there, Mike? Yeah, like, the problem is that I have to go all the way back to the ship to get all the parts, basically. Well, we have a welding ship. Ah, oh, yes. That would be useful. I, like, I'm only welding floors. How's my power? You got the power. Oh, I've got 20 minutes. Do 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 And do you have a wind turbine? What was yep. the... Bang. I what don't no, know. What, the pokey outy engine uh, disappeared. <laughs> disappeared? Yeah, the one that wasn't protected by armor. The, I wonder uh, what would have happened to it. Expendable engine. <laughs> uh, I mean, my plan there was essentially transfer across, like, with the Duke Duke, and then just build, like, large grid welders in situ to weld everything up. But we don't need to build large grid welders in situ. Uh, well, I mean, if you really wish to load all the requisite components into the elephants... You must yeah, first why... create the universe. Why would I not do that? I'm hmm. hearing some bangs, which are slightly disconcerting. I'm Just hearing some engine protests. noises. In this area where all the docked ships are. I feel like it's the apple pie from scratch. Oh yeah, look at the thrusters, they're going. Uh, I'll turn off in a moment, hold on. Oh, did you rename your uh, ship in tribute to uh, my comment? I did. What, whoa, what was that? Another missing engine. Um... To be fair, I have achieved symmetry on the front again. Right, have I dug you enough basement yet? Do you need more? Uh, it looked pretty sufficient when I last saw it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if it was slightly more square, but... Uh... Yeah, let me just go replace my engines because I'm running out of reverse thrust now. <laughs> well, I should probably go and okay. uh, fix that. Well, uh... Hmm. Whoops, there's some more gone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit heavy with all these components as well. Uh, oh shit, I'm 136 tons with all these components. That's like definitely above my safe operating weight. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Mine is uh, 400 tons, but at the moment I can't reverse or slow down, so that's, uh, I guess, problematic. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm waiting for my batteries to charge anyway. Ooh. Oh, yes, you definitely can't slow down, can you? Me? No, I'm fine. That's skillful maneuvering. Could you, like, build another one of these, but it's all grinders on the bottom, so you can just, like, hoover up all of this shit that's on the yeah, ground? Yeah, I'm very happy to do that, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm in the wrong plane there.
Whoa. Uh, oh, uh, well, well now your yeah, connector yeah. is in another plane. <laughs> no, no, my connector's fine. That was another engine. Uh, that's four <laughs> engines I've lost on this mission now. <laughs> Ablative engines. Yes. <laughs> I did bring a few spares, so uh, at least I'm fine. Are we attacking anything else this evening? I, I think don't so. think so, no. Is there anything you want to attack? I don't know. So, uh... so bloodthirsty. Um... Right. Um, Rev, I'm about to try moving the Duke Duke, so uh, uh, just be aware. All right, so. And to where are you moving this Duke Duke? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm, interesting. Ah, I do need to turn. Oh, bollocks. Well, <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> these are not the noises you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, I think he's missing an engine now. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, dampeners were not on. Um, this is Rev style of piloting. And one of the it is very bloody dark in that cave. You know, we're not flying during a dust storm, don't you? Well, he, he's in the so dark weird. cabin, I would say, is worse I than caution, dust storm. I caution you. You're not. You're not only missing one engine, but one of your other engines is severely damaged to the point of being non functional. Uh, I am aware. Oh no! And another of your engines. In fact, all four of your um, of your large atmospheric thrusters are damaged to the point of being non-functional, or just That's straight up missing. Unfortunate. You've also <laughs> drilled a nice hole in the ground, Rev style. What did you do? Yeah, well, come and see where I am, Rev. Yeah, that's normal, isn't it? <laughs> normal for you, baby. He says, flying bravely underneath the bumblebee. Oh, I'm getting shot by... Oh, I'm getting shot by Rev. Okay. Yeah, so I just do a bit of target practice out on the range. <laughs> <run. laughs> That's one of the uh, targets. I am not entirely in favour of this. <laughs> For the record, nor am I, before you start. And I'm fairly sure I have a ship with better guns than you do. Ooh, yeah, what do you do? You can turn it to target friendlies, are you, Mike, and just blast our entire base? <laughs> I thought that motor was unfinished, but actually it's just not painted the same horrific colour as the joke. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> well, then it is unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Where is the Duke Duke? Where it was. Yeah. Oh, it's behind the... Sorry, I was looking the opposite direction, expecting you to have flown off by now. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I will be flying off shortly, but... Uh... I welded this so I can't actually get it. Think oh, uh, Ed, if you wish to uh, weld up some of those thrusters on the underside as well, that would be handy. But uh, but you were supposed to invent the universe. Three blocks back. I, I can do thrusters do. that are uh, mildly. Uh, oh not God. Um, oh, the Duke Duke's a bit jaunty there. Indeed, I'm not in 100% of a position to weld it while it's moving, because every time I stop and try and weld it... Ah, uh, uh, Control Z is a useful control in that regard. What does it do? Uh, it gives you relative dampeners, so you will uh, essentially try and stay in a constant position relative to um, the grid that you're looking at. Or I could wait Z. until you're docked onto this thing and then you will be stationary. Yeah. Well, Do you need a banksman? You want to go up uh, yeah. and uh, slightly to your right. A bit a oh, bit back. Good. Backward. You need to go backward. I think he's very Almost backward. there. Tiny bit left and tiny bit up. Oh, Roll oh, right. There. You're, you're magneted. Cool. Oh wow, there's a lot of fire coming out of your hydrogen thrusters yeah, and not I'm, in I'm the a... way that it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um this I'm patching them up things. now. Thank you. Uh, so I'm thinking... And then... Uh, what are you thinking, Dan? Mm, could you come and do some more downwards drilling, please, Rev? 
What, is that like Downward's dog, or...? Uh... Yeah. If you just, uh, come to where I am... Yes. Yeah. Okay, no further back than that. Back. Back towards the entrance. You see, I've got these... these oh. frameworks built up. Yes. I'm just gonna grind them down, and then can you drill the space that they were in? I don't know how deep it is. I'll it's tell more you. more container deep, is it? Uh, we deep, might go a bit deeper deep. than that. Deeper. Keep going. Ah, phrasing. Ow. Bit deeper. What I'll do. I'll so turn yeah, could you to... could you do a bit more width than that? Yeah. Okay. To the same depth. The flight ah. of the bumblebee is actually quite bee-like. Oh, okay. Majestic, it, you mean? It's the way you kind of dart in and then just like bonk into stuff and just like buzz around seemingly at random. Yeah, that's the whole ge that's the whole game, isn't it? <laughs> I believe the Duke is now fixed up from the situation of misadventure. You mean dog driving it? How many do you want? Well, that seems like some future-proofing. <laughs> <laughs> Yagni, Doug, Yagni. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure that, like, we want to be leaving ourselves not enough space, though. <laughs> right, but we have the space. We can put more in yeah. later. We just don't need to spend the resources on a bunch of cargoes that and we're not we going to fill up because we're spending up, yeah. all the resources on a bunch of cargoes. Right. Can I fly when I disconnect? Oh, I can just about. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. I'm losing height. Oh. Slight bonking there. As you do. And come to weld you. Come to weld Caesar, not to praise him. Praise him. <laughs> do you make sure I can, like, get into all this stuff to weld it? The red dwarfs that men make live on after uh, them. Well, you can access the the top. Often you turned with their bones. This is a lot of refineries. Yes. Also, yeah, we're a very refined left... group. Have you left space for a... Uh... Oh, I... I forgot I lost my downward light ages ago. You left space yes, for a there walkway is, there. There is, in fact, space for a walkway all It's a bit cramped. There. I mean, I could move on further along, perhaps, if you wanted. Well, I'm going to start welding it up now. Oh, God. Well, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, go on, move one further along. I mean, one option is simply... Oh, that's not... Is that connected up properly? That's not, is it? That's wrong. That's... Ah, okay, so that's actually not connected properly, so that would be all right, I think, if I just, oh. just shifted up by one. I wonder why that was off, because I thought they should be on the same level. Um... Oh, for crying out loud. What? They appear to be on the same level, yes. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I, there's I, some exploding going on there. On the right level. Maneuvering. Not exploding, maneuvering. Okay. <laughs> well, it's some very <laughs> loud some maneuvering. Ancillary, uh, I have 12 minutes of power. Bollocks. I have 11 hours of power. Uh, but I would focus on the large cargoes, to be honest. Well, I brought the stuff for refineries, though, not large, large cargoes. Okay. But, like, it is very easy for me to do the large, uh, to do the refineries. Uh, because I just do a, um... Oh, yes, I know you're desperate to build a static welder. <laughs> <laughs> I can, it really isn't that hard. What's it? How is... Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Fixing things projected yeah. is really great, actually. It is extremely easy for me to deal with you want the to, refineries. Um, hold, hold it, Mike. You want, another, you, want another small, you want one of the small grid things in between that, because if you look, 
from the side, you'll see that your. Oh no, you can. Yeah. Put it on the end of the cargo. Is um, it? Cl no, I think you're right. It does need another. It does want to. No, no, yeah, you can put I it on the end, work. can't you? I can, but it's probably easier to put it on here. Can um, you at least put them on so that I can? Where's the button? For just it? dip dump my components into them. Yeah, that's it. Woof. What on? The modules. Oh, okay. Give me a sec. Like, if, if you do that instead of building more welders, can I can go and bring back the components to rebuild the other refineries. I, uh, try adding the large cargo container before you, we make an EM. Yeah, no, the, the problem I'm having is trying to get, is trying to put the large cargo container in the right place. No, just put the frame of the large cargo container down. Yeah. Well, See, I can't now you're exactly it... lined up. I think that's lined up, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah, good, that's right. And I presume um, that you're going to do the rest of it with a conveyor junction on the at the back of the cargo container with it, or you could do it. Uh, it doesn't need it because the cargo container has conveyor has um, entrances on both sides anyway. Have you lined the steps with a large one? I yes, think have. I have. I think yes, I have. Yeah, that's right. You've lined it up. Oh so that god, damn it! Small one is on the side of the welder, and I think you want a larger on the side of the welder, so you want it 90 degrees. No, no, this is right. I think. No, no, have a look where I am. No, that's a large one, isn't it? It looks like a small one to me. No, it yeah. looks like a large one to me. A small hole. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe not. If I round to this side and see where there's a large one, you can see the difference. Yeah, no, you're right. Fuck. Ah, uh, this is annoying. So, at least you need, you need one in that orientation. I don't know whether you need them in the side orientations as well. Oh no, oh no, I'm too jaunty. I'm too jaunty uh, for... Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I rescued it. I think we've been missing an important ingredient of our setup all this time on back on Mars. What? I turned off the disco lights on the Duke Duke, didn't I? Ah. Or, in fact, I had to delete some of them to make space for the uh, many refineries. Productive. None of your vehicles got destroyed, Mike, and you built yeah, a... Yeah, uh... I've, I've nearly got a missile launcher. And I built oh, some guns. Oh, God. It's a nearly missile done. Launcher. What? It was nearly done last week. Well, it's more nearly done now. <sighs> You're nearly done. <laughs> also, you've put all these refineries in upside down, RCX. And welded them all up. And also, there's no way we need this many refineries. <laughs> yeah, there is. You haven't seen how many minerals we're going to collect. We have on the Duke Duke. <laughs> and they are still chewing through materials, so... Yeah. I don't think you uh, appreciate the scale of our mining operation, uh, Dan Chan. Some of us uh, enjoy, uh, like Mr. Heaney, the, uh, the use of miners from time to time. <laughs> no, 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 Vinny, no Jimmy Savile jokes, please. <laughs> I thought I'd say it quietly, I'd get away with it, but uh, mm. apparently not. Now we've got into the swing of it, nothing can hold back our Olympus Mons construction, not even Rev's loud manoeuvring. Join us next time as our hole starts to look more like a home, and Mike might even have a working missile. Toodle pip! Oh no, hydrogen, hydrogen. Fuel yes, I know fuel is low. Oh. Fuel, fuel is critical. And I've bounced all the way down from New Cambridge to the. Oh, ow, ow, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bad. Oh, well, at least I've got hydrogen now. <laughs>